From The King and I to Kiss Me Kate, Tony Award winner Kelly O'Hara has dazzled Broadway for decades. Next, she'll be lighting up the stage at Feinstein's 54 Below for their new Diamond series. And the luminous Kelly is here with me now. Kelly, good to see you. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Listen, I'm just so excited that we are talking about Broadway again. Broadway is back. I mean, how does it feel for you? What are you thinking in this moment? Well, one of my biggest things all year was wondering about my friends and worrying about all the front and back of house, you know, yeah. wondering what was going to happen to everybody and myself included. It's such a joy to know that so many people are back to work. It just feels really, really like such a relief. Well, let's talk about the Diamond Series at Feinstein's 54 Below. Uh, you've performed there before. Uh, so how does it feel to be kind of kicking off the reopening of Feinstein's? Uh, I'm so excited. You know, I have performed there before for a lot of different reasons, but I've never done my own. I sort of put off doing my own show there, you know, doing the. But this Diamond series felt very special. Uh, obviously, we planned it before the pandemic. Yeah. It's going to be it's going to be nice to be in a in a small personal room like that. Yeah. And so talk to us about um, what you're going to be performing. Well, I, I want to touch on some things that I've missed singing, some things that from my shows. But I've also had a, a, a moment to reflect, as we all have. So some gentler things, some positive things is really important to me because even when I don't feel that way, um, I want to bring some light uh, and, and positivity into that room. Yeah. What are you most excited to sing on stage again? Oh, gosh. Um, I, I probably have to say Bridges of Madison County. I, uh. I just want to be with, with musicians singing that music that is so deep in my heart. Uh, maybe with some special guests and, uh, and and really living in that moment again. Yeah. Well, you also recently performed at the 9-11 memorial service. You know, as being such a, an important part of New York, a, a New Yorker, what was it like? What did it mean to you to be uh, performing there at that moment in time? You know, it felt so different than just being a performer. It felt like I needed to offer some sort of service. And I grew up doing that, you know, singing and in, in personal events. And I, I was surprised at how nervous and how emotional I got. Yeah. But I was also so um, honored and uh, to be there and it, it did feel of purpose. And so I'm very, yeah. very grateful for that. Yeah. You also performed at the Kennedy Center anniversary concert, um, which I think is going to air in October, right? Yeah. Uh, what was it like to be back there amongst so many of your colleagues? Well, the Kennedy Center is always a joy. It felt, um, you know, the first lady was there and the second, second gentleman. It, it felt yeah. big. It felt important. They talked about the history of the Ken Kennedy Center. They also especially brought in the change that we all want to see right now. It was such an eclectic, diverse, and fantastic group. And I just thought I've never been, in, I've never been a part of something so hip. <laughs> you know, I, just, <laughs> I, I loved it. And I felt really, really proud to be on that stage with these musicians who just killed it. Um, yeah. it, was, it was a joy. Yeah. Well, looking ahead, you're also going to be in a new HBO series. It's called the Gilded Age. I don't know if you can tell us anything, but yeah, I can tell you, I can tell you a lot. It's got the best cast you've ever seen. It's HBO. It's got uh, so many theater veterans and, and it's going to be sort of outlandishly lavish in the costumes and the sets. And it ah. talks about New York city in the yeah. Gilded Age. So it's a story that not a lot of people talk about. Oh, I love that. I can't wait to see that. Well, you're so busy. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. You can catch Kelly O'Hara at Feinstein's 54 Below, September 28th through October 3rd. For tickets, head to 54below.com slash diamond. Kelly, thanks so much. Thank you for having me.